I hope everybody's having a wonderful 4th of July. Let me see if I can make it a little more funny for you. So here we are on Tuesday with Indeed pulling in about $130 million worldwide. The domestic box office is still sitting right at $60 million, and the international is almost to $70 million. So if we look into it over the weekend, it barely broke $50 million. And I think a lot of things went wrong with this movie. I think the director was terrible. I think the storyline was terrible. I think they made bad casting decisions. I think they made bad casting decisions. I think they injected too much politics and wanted to make Indy a new female character. But even with all those bad decisions, I don't think anything's going to top this. Unlock a free Fandango movie ticket when you spend $35. That's right. You go eat at Applebee's and you get a free ticket. And I'm not sure which is worse. The Indiana Jones movie or the fact that I would have to eat at Applebee's to watch this movie for free. But I think that's a sign of how bad the movie's actually doing. You partner with a generic bar and grill. You buy a little bit of food. You put in your receipt info and you get a free movie ticket. And I know why they're doing it. They want to say they had more people watch this movie than the people who are actually going to see it. Disney is going to lose big on this one. I mean, over the holiday weekend, they couldn't even make their budget back. But let's look at the promo trailer for this one. Get a free ticket to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny when you spend $35 at Applebee's. Well, that's me, copyrighted. Now that's even oh, good in the neighborhood. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts on the comment section. Are you going to go get Applebee's to get your free ticket to Indiana Jones? And while you're there, make sure you drop me a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And I will catch you guys on the next one.